Hey guys, Juzo here. Uh, gonna be talking about custom music inside of Slap City. Right now, I have a custom song on uh, Ruins right now. So it's pretty easy to change the music in the game, and it's you do need quite a few tools, and there's some good tutorials. There will be a link in the description on the tutorial for this. So I'm just gonna go over how to go through how to go through and make your custom music. So, first off, the tutorial is on Game Banana. It was made by Cinnaminion, so I'd really recommend you go through that and read through it. It's detailed. It's got all the files that you will be needing inside of this. And so let's let's start from the beginning on this. So first, the first thing you're going to need to do is get a BRSGM file, and that's the simplest way to do it. So I'd recommend going to smashcustommusic.com and then find some music that you want to do. So in my case, I've got I've already got a song on here that I'm going to be using, and it's just going to be for the main menu. And then the rest of the files are included inside of the Slap City modding tools that are available. So let's go to the first step. So you've got your BRSGM. So first thing you're going to need to do is open Brawlbox. This is included in the files. So you'll be wanting to go into Brawlbox and then open up the BRSTRM file. So once you do that you'll be wanting to make sure to note two things in here. So the first off, the first thing you need to get is the loop start sample right here and the number sample is right there. That's a little bit too thick. But the number sample is right down, down there. So these two numbers are what you need to save. The rest of it you can kind of just forget about. So next, after you've got those two numbers, you're gonna do an export and you're going to be saving this as a WAV file. Let's get rid of those. So you've got these two numbers. You've made your WAV file. Next, you're going to be going into uh, Wavosaur, and you're going to be opening up that WAV file, the WAV file you just made. After that, you're going to be going into Tools, and then Create Loop Points. And then the next step is you go into Tools again and hit Properties. So now those two numbers that you had are what are going to be determining here. So, you'll, so this one is uh, 673,792 for the start. And then the num samples should be one higher than the endpoint. If it's not, then you may want to try to reimport the BRCRM file and start over again. So now we have this part saved. So let's see. So we'll be saving that. I believe it was that one. Sorry. Yeah, so we've got that. We save it. And next, we're going to be opening the file that we just made. And we're going to be opening it inside of FMOD Designer. Now, you're going to be making a new project. Call it something you know and put it in somewhere in your documents or somewhere you're going to remember. So this one I'm calling Menu. And the first thing you do is you see these events. You're going to want to get rid of this first event. So it's not you're uh, no you're going to be expanding and then get rid of the event uh, zero zero my my apologies after that you are going to be adding a simple event and you're going to call it null or anything the name really does not matter next you go make sure that this looping is selected and then hit new wavetable and select the file that you put in there so we've got our file we're going to be hitting ok and now we go to bank and we're going to be clicking on this bank again and hit build and then you're going to hit build one more time so as you saw it built a file right here for the uh, menu bank zero zero so the next thing you're going to be needing to do is you're going to be going into unity ex this is included in the brawl in the modding tools and you'll be opening an archive in unity so you'll need to go to your steam folder and get the full directory and find the slap city underscore data folder and you'll be opening this resources.assets. After that you'll be searching for slapcity.snd or for blobbers.snd and when you do that you'll be hitting export selected and then export with convert. What this does is it opens up the it creates folders for what you're going to be needing to do. So we it creates this unity assets files resources and then sounds 
and then it creates this uh, res uh, resource dot resource. So inside of here is where you will actually be placing the file that you just made. So we just made this menu bank dot FSB. So we'll be copying it and putting it in here, but we need to rename it as well. So on the game banana, we have the name of all of these. So we'll be changing the menu. So it's just going to be slap city S and D dot FSB. So we'll be changing that and you'll want to make sure to get the that all correct so oh let me get rid of this one and then rename it again so so now we actually have all the files that we need so the the last thing that we need to do is we just import all files and then we should just be able to open up slap city We should have new music, unless I did something wrong. Uh oh. And we have new music. So that's pretty much everything for how you can put in the music. Another thing you'll be wanting to do that I, that I neglected to mention earlier is included with the downloads is an assembly C sharp uh, file. You'll be wanting to download that. There'll be updated for each patch and you'll be need to download that and then rename it get rid of the dash v0989 you'll be copying and pasting that into the steam folder as well so you'll be going to the slap city data again go into managed and then you'll just be placing it in there and then you replace the current assembly file what this one does is it makes it loop properly but that's everything it's pretty simple. It's got a lot of steps, but once you figure it out, it gets simple and you'll be all right.